And we are back. This is The Perfectionist, Season 1, Episode 3. I'm very excited for this episode because the promo implies, at least I'm pretty sure it implies, and I forgot the exact wording, but I'm pretty sure it's Caitlyn who says it, that she says she either thinks she knows or she does know who was in the woods that night when they fantasize about killing Nolan. Either she thinks she knows or she does know. I think it's she thinks she knows, but let's just say there's a chance tonight's episode we could find out who was in the woods. I don't think so, because it's too early in the season. It might just be a red herring, but it could be a lead. <sighs> but yeah, the mysteries don't really get resolved until like toward the end of the season. Or one of them. Because not every mystery tends to get resolved right away. Classic Pretty Little Liars. As for who it is, my suspects are Mason, Nolan's friend. He just seemed really shady last episode. His mother, I don't think she killed him. I think she's involved somehow. Like... She's basically Mrs. De Laurentiis 2.0. Like, Mrs. De Laurentiis didn't kill anyone, but she was not innocent. She had her, she had a lot of fucking secrets, and she basically created uh, the second A. CC or Charlotte De Laurentiis, whatever you want to call her. She basically created her. So, I don't think Mrs. Hodgkins is as bad as Jessica De Laurentiis, but we, like, we barely know her, so... You never know, but... Either way, in a show like this, everyone's fucking guilty. As you can see, they're gathered together at Thorn Hall. Oh, well, crap. it doesn't prove that they did it. Mm -hmm. Some proof? No, but they did <clears throat> and are acting suspicious. Why would they want my son dead? You know, Nolan wasn't perfect, right? Well... He had a way of getting them to do what he wanted, and it wasn't always pretty. Well, it wasn't Caitlin. Uh-huh. With all due respect, Mrs. Hotchkiss, she lied about where they were that night. All due respect, Mrs. Hotchkiss. She said she was with the others at Alison Dolores' house. She wasn't. Well, I have so much fun with you. There after they... I'm locked out of BHU's network. All of my records and my code, everything's been walled off. What? You're no, literally I'm... A. Can't you just hack in? activity on my account. They must know I've been trying to figure out who killed Nolan. But we need to do our own suspicious activity. Yeah. Well, right now there's only one database I still have access to. Which is? What, the library? The issue's yearbook. Dana Booker's gonna oh. throw all of Beacon Guard that she's got at this. And she's gonna find out that you lied for your alley buddies. The only question is what? Alley buddies? Get out of his seat. What are you talking about? Get out of his seat. Oh, 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 girl, calm down. It's his okay. His seat is up for grabs now, right? I mean, he... Mason, get out of his seat, Mason. Oh, God. I really feel bad for him. Yeah, he was a douche, but she really loved him. That's why I feel bad. Oh. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh double, triple, quadruple shit. Just that's it, just shit. <sighs> Guess you call it a good natured rivalry. You're happy with that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure. In a show like this, no one is ever happy with a rivalry. It's always about staying on top. There is no second place. Then what happened? You came here. So things changed. He changed. I guess having your name on half the buildings on campus will do that to you. You know, pretty soon all those benefits, well, you took them away. Along with Kate. You took her, too. So, today in class, was what? Trying to get back at him? I told you it's what no one would have expected. Tell us what he would want me to do. And that's not a secret. <laughs> Boy, you shady as fuck. Okay. Right, we'll get through this, right? I don't like the perfect choice for Vogue. Oh, you're about to have a drunk interview. How am I the perfect choice for Vogue? The perfect choice for Vogue. Choice for Vogue. Oh, I girl. Like I know the answer to that one. How am I? Look at that. Is she drinking during her interview, though? Person. person. No, sir. That's right. You go, girl. Hmm. I nailed that. That was good. You are totally wasted, but 
You nailed it. What's the box? Your new head of security, Dana Booker, came to see me today. She showed me some photos from Nolan's phone. Some embarrassing ones of my Yeah, I've seen them. You what? What can I do to help? Um, I want to trust her, but... <laughs> You can make sure that no one else sees them. I get major Mrs. De La Renta's fire from her. Of my mother's campaign. I said you it done. Really? Well, I haven't watched you grow up, Kate, then you're... Like, you're Mrs. Like, D.A. was nice at first, but she was a real bitch. Thing. It has to be for you. What is it? What is it? Jewels? Diamonds? The fuck? Eva. What is it? It means a lot that you took the time to bring this to me. What is it? Thank you. I couldn't see what it was. The fuck? Is that him and Nolan? I swear that was him and Nolan. Oh. <laughs> oh god, here we go with the blackmail. I have to be somewhere. God, she's literally Tanner 2.0. Oh Think we should just lock the door next time, that way she can just walk in unannounced. <laughs> Are we about to have a freaking fight? Fox fight? Nah, not here. What is this bitch looking at? The kids are having fun while the adults are doing all the work. What's so wrong with being a little kid every once in a while? Uh, oh, jeez. Right. Okay, let's get back to work. Let's... They're definitely not alone. There's always someone hidden in a cabin somewhere. When has the cabin ever not been spooky? When the person that was last in them wasn't murdered? Fair point. Yeah. So how do we want to do this? Quickly. Why? Because someone's coming. What? Who? Someone must have followed us. Shit. What do we do? Hide. What? Is it Allie? It's probably Allie. Watch, it's Allison. Oh my god. Allie. Allie. Fuck you, commercial break. I knew it was Allie. <laughs> what part about don't do anything out of the ordinary? Did you miss? Hey, we're in this just as much as you are. Even more so, if you think about it. Why are you here? Nolan came here the night that he died. And I followed him. Did he meet anyone? Yeah. Some blonde woman. Taylor. Who kind of looked like you. It was Taylor. That's Nolan's stash. Dash. Why does it smell? Wait, are you sure you want to open it? There's probably a head in there. Or a foot, or a hand, or some other piece of shit. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm is right. Uh, ew, oh, not, oh god. Gross. Thank god it's dead. What does it say? One of you is a rat. You tell her I will. Possibly. So what? One of us is a snitch? <laughs> For secret stealers that literal. Yeah, they're trying to turn us against each other. Yeah. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
But I'm guessing, is that why? Because he wanted their opinions? Yeah, this is it. It's beautiful. Did you get it, Mona? Did you get it, girl? Did you get it? So no. She got it. I am not a perfect choice for anything, but I am the right choice for this because my mission statement is in line with yours. Is that Allie at the door? Need and inspire. Allie? I mean, she's gonna tell her that she thinks Taylor's alive. What? Taylor's alive. I think Taylor Hodgkiss might be alive. Yay! Thank God. That, I'm glad we didn't have to drag that out. He wants to walk you home. I mean, there's a killer on the loose after all. That's... No, I'm, I'm good. Suit yourself. Yeah, he is shady as fuck. He reminds me of Noel Khan almost, but not as bad as Noel. Then again, it's only been three episodes, so... Say the name, Caitlin. Oh, I know. She thinks Mason was in the woods. I think it was Taylor. But it could have been Mason. Hey. I think I knew who was in the woods that night. Say it. It was Mason. Okay. It's possible. Daddy? This is you're back. I knew he was going to come back. That is the program I wrote. It's pretty. It's adding somebody to pretty. the list. It's... Who the hell's Ray Hogadorn? Who? Ray who? This book belongs to Taylor Hotchkiss. He uh -huh. changed the maps. Why would she do that? Because she's alive. Did you ever find the Emerald City, Taylor? Emerald City. That was a really good episode. I really liked that they're not dragging out the mystery with Taylor actually being alive because if you know with Pretty Little Liars they tend to drag the mysteries out to like toward the end of the season. But dude, this is only 10 episodes so that's probably why they're not dragging it out. Just in case they don't get a season 2. But I, honestly I think they will. Granted the ratings haven't been that good but for a show like this ratings don't usually matter because it has a really big fan base like Pretty Little Liars did. So, and for a show like this, they tend to end all the seasons on a cliffhanger, so they'd be stupid not to renew it. I mean, I could definitely see it having seven seasons, maybe even more, like Pretty Little Liars. But again, this is based on books too, so might get less than seven, might get seven. Either way, it's we're definitely going to get a season two. It's, it's obvious. So Caitlin thinks Mason was in the woods that night. Personally, I think it was Taylor, but it could have been Mason. He's definitely shady as fuck. He reminds me of Noel Khan. Like, they both seem like nice guys, but they have their secrets, and they turn out to be kind of not-so-nice guys. He gives me that Noel Khan vibe. But from my first impression, he doesn't seem as bad as Noel. But like I said, it's only been three episodes, so, like, Noel Khan was an asshole, and in the last season, he turned out to be a murderer. Because didn't he murder Sarah Harvey in season 7? I think so. I think it was him. He murdered Sarah Harvey. And so yeah, maybe he'll be turn out to be like Nolcon. Maybe even worse. But definitely he's shady. But yeah, it could be. It could have been him in the woods. It could have been Taylor. It could have been someone else. What if Taylor killed Nolan to make sure no one would that he wouldn't tell anyone she's alive? But see, I don't know. Because when Nolan was talking to whoever was on the roof, he mentioned Taylor, so if that was Taylor on the roof, why would he talk about Taylor when she's already right, when she's right there? So either it wasn't Taylor on the roof and killed him, or it was, but she was wearing a mask, like a black hoodie, black mask thingy, and he didn't know. I wouldn't be surprised. But Taylor's definitely a suspect for me. Her and Mason. But at this point, it could be anyone. Well, that was The Perfectionist, season one, episode three. Overall, really good episode. I really enjoyed it. I gotta say, I missed Pretty Little Liars because I love, like I said, even though it drives me crazy, I love coming up with fan theories and who A, or in this case, A 2.0, that's what I'm calling them at least, 
I love coming up with the identities, trying to figure out who they are, piece everything together. I love it. Like, Pretty Little Liars did a lot of things I never agreed with. Like, I didn't, I personally did not like the Charlotte de Laurentiis reveal because it just, it felt like it was just thrown in there. Like, I love the character of Cecil. I love the actress Vanessa Rice. She was amazing. It's just, it didn't answer everything and it just felt like it was thrown in there. The AD reveal was crap because that was literally the most obvious thing ever. The twin reveal I saw coming before like the sixth season even, season even aired. It was so obvious and again, not everything was answered. It's like the idea of it sounds cool but it was poorly executed. That's how I see it. Like, I mean, not because of the acting, like, Troyan's acting as AD was really good, it's just, it was poorly executed and it was just so fucking obvious. Overall, I didn't like the series finale of Pretty Little Liars. It was just, it had its good moments, like the Ezria wedding, the ending with Mona capturing Mary Drake and AD in the dollhouse, but they're not there anymore because I'm pretty sure Mona implied in the pilot of this that they escaped, which is why she's at Beacon Heights, so that makes me wonder if we'll see them. Because if, if Alex and Mary escaped, what if we'll see them in this show? I can't see them being full-time, but, like, they have to show up eventually, right? That'd be cool. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to let me know what your thoughts on the episode and your theories on who A2.0 might be and who was in the woods that night. And I will see you guys next time.